After being rescued from the Egyptian army, the Jewish people burst out into song as they traverse the split sea. That song, of course, is what gives this upcoming Shabbat the name Shabbat Shira, after the song of the sea, the song of gratitude that reflects the euphoric mood of the Jewish people as they express their deep appreciation and love to Hashem. Rav Kook unpacks one particular phrase in this song and shares, based on it, two types of love that we can have, that we should have, with our Creator. The verse that he drills into is the verse that we're familiar with, of course, from saying Shiratayam every morning, Ze keli va'anvehu, this is my God, and I will enshrine him, Elokei avi va'aromemenhu, this is the God of my Father, I will praise him, I will exalt him, I will raise him. These two halves of the verse seem to be repeating. Both are about praising my God. So is it just a poetic flourish, a parallelism, or is there something deeper, some significance behind the repetition, the seeming repetition of the Pasuk? Rav Kook says, or explains, that the name of God in both half of the Pasuk, right, Eli and Elohe, those are the same name of God. The difference is the reference of that name of God. Is the reference to myself, my God, or the God of my Father? That's one noticeable difference. And the second difference comes from the verb of the anvehu, I will enshrine him, I will make a permanent um, uh, appreciation of my God, or the aromemenhu, I will raise him, exalt him, and put him up high. So based on these differences, Rav Cook explains that there is what he calls a natural love on the one hand, and a contemplative love on the other hand. A natural love is the kind of love that we have during Birkot HaShachar, when during the day-to-day, -day, we appreciate Zokev Kefufim, that Hashem allows us to be straight, allows us to get out of bed, to walk, to eat, to function, the basic and simple pleasures of day-to-day -day life. That's a constant appreciation that we have, and that's our lived experience. It's something that we say, Ze'eli va'anvehu. It's something that we know well because it happens to us. And yes, we have to try to appreciate it, but it's there constantly. That's type one. That's the first type of love. The second type of love is what Rav Cook calls contemplative love. This is a love that is acquired through reflecting on our lives through a broader timeline and through Hashem's orchestration of history and the intersection with the timeline of our life. That kind of love is more episodic. It doesn't happen all the time. It's more rare for that to take place. And it is the kind of love that is more intergenerational. It is ze um, uh, um, eloke avi, there is the uh, awareness of one where one comes from, the tradition, the relationship that was built upon the relationship of our parents with our God. And that is the kind of love that might be available. And I can speak personally to this because I just experienced this with my little brother in Israel last week at a chuppah where one can appreciate how one's life fits into some broader uh, picture, how the pieces fit together, that's the kind of deeper, profounder love that is being expressed in, this, in the second half of this pasuk. 
And so as we say this pasuk daily, I hope we can appreciate that davening should be affording us that opportunity to cultivate these two types of love, of the natural love and the contemplative love. The natural love might be a little bit easier because it's something that we can connect to personally on a day-to-day. The episodic love is something that we might only be able to touch at a chuppah or uh, in the middle of a hike or on a vacation or something that gets us out of our element. But if we dove in well and deeply, we actually can touch that even during our tefillah. As the Jews were crossing the Yamsuf, they were able to experience God on both of these levels, the immediacy of God providing for their needs in the here and the now in the moment, and also understanding through the broad strokes of history how God has taken care of them, leading them from the promise, leading them from Egypt to the promised land. I hope to see all of you in Shul. Be well.